so that his tire repair business would be better. It seems that James has begun nailing nails into the road. We now see James get on his motorcycle to go see the developer of the construction, so the developer can pay for the pollution damage to James' house. Naturally, the developer is reluctant. However, James was determined to find the person in charge, but he was stopped by a security guard. When he was pushed, he fell to the ground. Sadly, he didn't realize he'd hit a little girl. She was the developer's daughter. James was carried to the police station by the security guards. It turned out that the developer had already paid compensation, but James didn't receive it. It was taken away by Snake, the leader of the neighborhood gang. On the way home, James was so angry that he threw his shoes away. James passed a broken down car and went up to take a look. He found it was just a minor problem. A few bucks to change the switch would do the trick, but Snake told the owner that the car was a write-off. He wanted to buy it at a low price. James told the driver that it was just a broken switch. Snake saw his money go down the drain. How could Snake, 